already Scorpios or Scorpios, this is going to be for my Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is going to be a general reading. I will not apply to every Aquarius out there. That's why I do advise that you do check out your other placements. I should have the other videos up by the time you see this video. Um, also, if you're interested in getting a personal reading, all of my information is going to be in the description box for you to find as well. Uh, my email is crystalcorion at mysticalcrystals.com and my website is www.mysticalcrystals.com. Okay, so... <laughs> Now that we got that out of the way, we're going to hop straight into the reading. I already pulled the cards from the Rebels deck because, unfortunately, I did start this video uh, prior to this one. And everything was fine until a video that I filmed for another sign airdropped on this phone or this device. So, it messed the whole video up. But, nonetheless, I'm not complaining. So we're going to hop right back to where we were. The cards that I pulled for just the overall guidance for the week, guys, I did pull. And don't get mad at me, okay? These are the cards that came out. If I could, I would insert the other clip. But this is just more organic. The cards that came out, we have... What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. It says, if you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. <laughs> And my eye is getting irritated out of nowhere. So I feel like that's a sign as well. Everything is a synchronicity. So it's giving me issues, guys. This video is giving me issues. And the next card that we have, we have fucking apologize. It says, seriously, just do it. So some of you guys, I feel like you may have been procrastinating to apologize to somebody who you may have wronged. Or you guys are procrastinating with some situations in your life. And I feel like you do need to kind of face it head on and stop acting as if it's not happening or that it's not going on, okay? Especially if it is another person involved and that you do need to apologize to them. You need to make sure that you are uh, doing so so that you can get the weight lifted off of your shoulder. And that you can deal with that, um, that circumstance that for some of you guys it may have just bothered you for so long and now it's time for you to kind of address it and just move forward now and in a relationship sense the cards that I pull for you guys we have unplug and it says turn it all off it turns them on and the next card that we have we have deal with your drama handle exes old hurts and unresolved shit and I pulled this for several signs as well I pulled this for Leo and Pisces I believe so there is a need for you guys to kind of disconnect from social media and make sure that you are just tending to your relationship more, especially in an emotional sense. You may be kind of consumed with everything going on in your world, especially if you are somebody who works on social media or you deal with social media a lot. You do need to take some time away from that and kind of deal with your relationship. Stop trying to like find a way to kind of detach and kind of, you know not deal with your day-to-day -day problems if that is something that you have issues with it's time for you to come come to face with it okay and whether this is like old exes old hurts or unresolved issues you're really needing to kind of face that so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the regular tarot deck we're gonna see what is going on with you guys energetically so what's going on with my scorpios and i keep saying scorpios Not my Aquarius for December 3rd through the 10th. Aquarius for December 3rd through the 10th. December 3rd through the 10th, please. For my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarius. So I do have the Ace of Swords in reverse that just flipped out with the. Full card in reverse and the Queen of Swords. So there may be a lack of clarity when it comes to a situation and you may be feeling a sense of foolishness. Uh, you could feel as if you kind of walked yourself into something that you can't get yourself out of. And you may be taking yourself out of it in a very detached manner. Um, whether that's a relationship, whatever it may be. You're feeling a sense of just... Um, 
Yeah, some of you guys are really feeling foolish when it comes to a situation where there's no clarity or somebody may have been lying to you for a while and you may be just in a space where it's like, okay, let's deal with the facts. I only want to deal with the facts and I'm really not going to express myself emotionally to you due to the fact that you have me out here uh, confused. And then we have the Tower card with the Seven of Swords. So you guys are definitely dealing with a relationship that wasn't built on something concrete here. Uh, also, there may have been a sudden realization that somebody was cheating on you or you came to a sudden realization about something that you were like building, like you were building upon a relationship but you thought that you were building a future for you and this person and it kind of like fell through the cracks due to the fact that you were maybe being self-deceptive to yourself regarding like just the circumstances of your relationship or overall this is what somebody else was doing to you or you guys could have been cheating and kind of not being truthful about it. But overall, you guys are feeling a sense of like focusing on what did not work to the point where you can't move forward right now. And with the eight of wands, I feel like there is a focus on you guys needing to focus on moving on in your progression overall and not dealing with any sort of mind games or just trying to get back at the person that may have wronged you we have the ten of cups in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse so you guys are really unhappy with the family situation or a relationship that you guys are in currently but you're not walking away even though you're emotionally unsatisfied and it's not working okay some of you guys you may be dealing with somebody who's not putting any work in especially if you are dealing with an air sign or an aries uh, I feel like this Aries is not even taking a risk to even step out there with you guys uh, due to the fact that they are just maybe not even emotional or they just, they can't, they only deal with facts and they only deal with logic. Um, but somebody's just not putting the work into the, the relationship or the situation to kind of make it work. And that's why it's kind of stale. Like it's not going anywhere. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. My nose has been running. <laughs> Or not running, but acting funny all day. Um, I have the star card that came out. So you could be definitely in a space of trying to heal yourself. And just trying to stay hopeful for yourself. And overall, just focusing on your dreams. And focusing on your well-being. You guys may have been hurt by a lot of situations. And you may be focusing on how this person hurt you. But you need to focus on how you can manifest new opportunities for yourself and how you have everything that you need to actually get a relationship that you desire. You just need to make some decisions and kind of weigh out your options uh, overall. And some of you guys, you could be dealing with a cancer, but I really feel like you guys aren't going anywhere with this person. Um, or you guys are having issues with you guys moving forward due to the fact that things are just at a stalemate. And you do need to come into full awareness of maybe how the situation is just stressing you out. Some of you guys also could be dealing with the Leo and could be feeling the stressed out energy as well. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on with the cross watcher because my nose is acting super, super nuts. So what's going on with my Aquarius cross watcher partner and person in question for December 3rd through the 10th, please. Aquarius cross watcher partner and person in question for December 3rd through the 10th. So I have the devil card in reverse. This person is trying to come out of any sort of bondage when it comes to anything that may have been uh, holding them back or just energetically being kind of toxic to them. They really want to release themselves from that energy. And then with the tower card at the bottom of the deck, also anything that's just not stable, okay? Um, <clears throat> I have the king of swords in reverse so it may be you guys this person is releasing themselves from the situation due to the fact that they feel like there may not be any truths really being spoken here or you're just overly like operating in your lower self uh verbally for some of you guys okay and that's my nice way of saying uh cussing this person out and making this person feel like not good about themselves okay <laughs> 
Yeah, Knight of Swords. You guys may be going off the handles with this person, and this person cannot handle that. But there could also be a lack of truths here as well. And they want you to communicate and tell them the truth fast. Or this situation is not going to go anywhere because they feel as if they have a lack of clarity. And they're really just not going to make any decisions regarding this connection until they have a full understanding. I also feel like this person feels like the cat's out of the bag, especially if you did cheat. Uh, I feel like they are still focusing on whatever happened in the past. But they may see the issue is if you're dealing with the cancer they're having issues with moving on especially if you guys have kids together okay i don't feel like this person is going to come forward though but they're still trying to gain balance okay yeah so I'm super sorry, guys. I'm going to end the reading here because I feel like this reading is like trying to symbolize that you guys need to clean out any situations that are just making you sick, okay? Or it's just bringing any sense of... issues in your circumstance okay but i'm getting like super i don't know i'm getting allergies or something throughout this reading but this is gonna be it i love you aquarius so much i'm sorry that this reading got cut short but i have to my allergies are acting up but i'll definitely see you guys in the next reading bye guys